Hey, hello, welcome back. It's a rare Sunday stream. We're back. Project Zomboid. Rashad Howe. Our greatest survivor to date. We continue. He's still going. He's still he's standing standing in the rain. It is currently 10 degrees. And we are very uh, exerted. I can't remember what the last thing we did was. Perhaps some exercise? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I, re I really cannot. Let's check the weather forecast for tomorrow. Um, we still have some stew. We have some fresh and stale veg in the fridge. How are we looking for skills? Tailoring's getting there now. I think we needed some more thread, right? Or what was the deal? I can't remember. All right, let's see what the forecast is for tomorrow. Clouds. Weather continues throughout the day, expecting light to moderate rain, which we've got right now. Tomorrow, maximum of 13. Clear skies with periodical cloudy spells. Weather period predicted to end in the night, expecting light to moderate rain. Okay, so it's another rainy day tomorrow, and then a thunderstorm in two days. That's right. It's another thunderstorm, isn't it? But it's due to stop raining uh, tomorrow. Well, that's okay. I mean, we got uh, we got uh, lots of rain barrels to um, to keep full. We want to keep them all filled up. Chance of snow? Yeah, it's almost uh, it's almost November. I think winter officially starts in December. It's December to February in this game. I'm pretty sure. Last thing I did was car mechanics because I was planning on heading up to... Oh! Hang on a sec. I forgot. The last thing I did last stream was I installed a mod as well, but I need to add it to this save. It's uh, it's the simple car recycling one. Basically, if you take the engine out of a car, you can just fully recycle it, which is kind of what we want. I think we'll keep some of the parts so that we can do some stuff, but we want to be able to get rid of um, stuff too, right? So it's this simple simple vehicle recycling. Nice. Imagine carrying an entire engine block. I know you need like one of those hoist things like they have in my summer car. I can't remember what they're called. Hey, I started watching The Last of Us, the TV series. I know I'm very late to the party, I just never got around to it, but I finally got around to it. I just finished episode 4 last night, and uh, it's really good. I've been enjoying it. It is pretty good, yeah. Um, I really liked the episode with uh, Bill and Frank. The third episode. Ron, Ron Swanson. I thought that was great. Yeah, it was really good. It was just like a really nice story. A nice story within a story, you know? But yeah, no, it, is, has, it has been really good. All right, we want to go load more and choose mods and we'll add this mod to the save. Yeah, good. Simple, simple vehicle recycling. There it is. Okay, good. Okay, let's go and see if this actually works. So we do have a car that's ready to uh, ready to rumble down here, right? Old Faithful here. Dismantle car wreck. 
I need uh, 10 propane torch uses. Apparently my current propane torch has two. Is 10 the maximum for one propane torch? Or do I no need another propane torch? That I don't know. Dismantle car wreck. Oh wow, nice. Look at all this look at all the stuff you get from dismantling a uh, a wreck. That's great. Okay. One's gone. We done it. We got rid of it. Okay, metal bars, pipes, metal sheets, small metal sheets. Yes, yes, yes. We got lots of this stuff now. Put all this stuff back on. Do 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 do. How's our weight doing? Eighty and dropping. Okay. I eat half a bowl of stew. See if this gets us leveled out. It does not. So we're going to need to try to put on some weight again soon. Okay, that's done it. Nice. Put that in there. I got a couple of snacks on me. I got lots of smokes. And I'm sure that we are all caught up with skills and st Yeah, we are. Okay, perfect. It's a little early to go to bed, though. That's the only thing. It is a little bit early to be going to bed. Is there any other tapes that we can watch to get um, some cheeky extra skills? We watched Mother's Boy. I don't know if that gave us anything. What about Simon's Fitness Club Episode 3? Welcome back to Simon's Fitness Club. It does cure the boredom, at least. But it doesn't seem to give us anything else. Join us next time for burpees. I will not. That sounds awful. I don't want to do burpees. I'm not ready. Can't believe you missed the opening. Oh, I know. I couldn't make it. I just could not make it yesterday for the um, for Schlatt's um, Minecraft server. I just could not do it. I don't even have Minecraft installed or anything. I'm just I'm so lazy. I should I should really do it. Um, this axe. Is fine for now. This hand axe is in perfect condition. That's the backup just in case things go uh, horribly wrong. Mother's Boy gave you 12.5 XP and short blade. Oh, of course it did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that. All right, let's go to bed. We're pretty tired. We seem to be very exerted yesterday, probably from doing lots of mechanic stuff. 
Hey, 6 a.m. and it stopped raining? There might be some snow. No, there's no snow. It's pretty chilly out, though. It's pretty, pretty cold. It's pretty cold. It's quite a drive to Riverside, isn't it? We could do with hitting those uh, those bookstores, though. There's a gas station down in uh, Muldraw we could potentially go to. Um, if we're looking for uh, some magazines. West Point, I'm a bit scared to go to. I don't really know like what we want to do with the weather being cold and stuff. Do we want to go on a little road trip? See if there's anything else that we can get. Definitely need auto magazines if we want to do more mechanic stuff. It's pretty good that we're at mechanic 5. Tailoring? We could do with killing some big packs of uh, bad guys as well and get some thread. I mean, we could go down to, uh, to Muldra. Or we could just go back to Riverside. It is quite far, but... Might be might be um, a good one to do before the thunderstorm comes. <laughs> okay, let's drop our uh, welding stuff. Where is the propane torch? Propane torch. Propane torch. Here it is. Um, just make sure that we have some snacks to take with us. Actually, the wrench we don't need either. We can leave this with our uh, car stuff for now. Fine. Uh, saw and hammer are always pretty good to bring along with us, I think, though. Scissors to cut stuff up. I've got some coffee. I got a granola bar. Maybe I'll just grab some chips as well, just for the road. Or we could just eat some fresh uh, tomatoes. Probably not enough of them there, really. Okay, I'll grab some... Uh, I'll grab a couple of bags of chips. We can eat those while we're gone. And uh, let me just grab some stew before we leave as well. I'll fill up my water bottles. And then I guess we can hit the road. Well, let's just go to Riverside. Since we were kind of working Riverside already anyway, right? So we can hit the bookstore and the gas station at least. Could be good. I'm pretty sure we got the shotgun and stuff in the back as well. With all the shells. Yeah. Okay, so if we want to start blasting while we're there, we can as well. We got enough gas. I don't see any major... whoops. Blood. There's a couple of nasty ones out here. We've killed 3,342 zombies on Rashad. Not bad. It's quite the killer. 
There's a couple of ropey um, crashes along the way here, too, that we have to be careful of. I've crashed into them previously. Do I work out? What, in real life? Not much, no. In game, I work out as much as I can, though. Try to get my stats up. I got a treadmill. guy's got a large backpack that I don't need. Oh yeah, this is the spot, right? I'm stuck. Get away from my car. Don't even think about it. Okay, expertly handled. Another backpack there. Actually, hang on a sec. This guy got an axe on him? It's a hammer and a kitchen knife. He's got a CD in here. It's just a it's just it's a CD called CD. Is that like a rare one that that's really worth listening to? Your favorite CD. Or is it a blank CD that I can just load up with uh, MP3s? I forgot I wanted to collect some thread as well, right? Would be good to pick up today so we can carry on with uh, tailoring. Nothing else on these guys. I'll actually keep the leather strips. Why not, right? You got 19 threads from that. That's pretty good. Oops. 19 threads from like 17 rips. High, the high tailoring skill is in, 
it's insane. We don't even need to really like make a big pile to rip up clothes, like just a really average sized pile will do. I think the uh, country club is up here. Cleaver, don't really need. Disposable camera. All right. sheets, dirty rags, all this stuff can go on here. It's a leather jacket. Can just go onto here. Don't necessarily need to rip it up. 31 more threads. Scrap electronics. Can have our nice granola bar snack. God, it takes so long to get to Riverside. Well, I mean, I guess I've stopped a lot along the way, too. And there's like a big clump of zombies out here at one point, wasn't there? Don't think this is it, but we could still kill these guys anyway, I think. large backpack. I think the only backpack bigger than the one we have right now is the military backpack, right? There's a military backpack that's slightly bigger. Thirty-two or thirty-six on the military backpack? Okay, cool.
Okay. Dismantle these watches. More thread. Okay, I think we got probably enough thread for now. You thought Rashad was toast on Friday for sure? Oh, what, when we did our, um, when we went on the shooting spree. It was good to practice shooting, actually. I, I don't shoot a lot in this game. That felt really good. When you can kill four guys at a time with, a, with one shot. Oh, man. Are we going to St. Louis? No, we're not. We're going to Riverside again. But it's already like 2 in the afternoon. I don't know, we might get tired while we're there. We'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, at a push, we could stay overnight. I do have the sledgehammer if we want to knock out a staircase and sleep on the top floor of a house or something. Oops. No, my car. All right, we've arrived. Back into the... Back, back, right back into hell on Earth. The bookstore we're looking for is up here somewhere? Back? Here? Enigma Books. Here it is. Right in the ass.
Hey, Sean Bradbury, thanks for the five bucks. I still love you from Canada. Thanks so much for the super, Sean Bradbury. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, catch our breath a little bit here. Go visit Saucy. Saucy. Hot sauce. doing here we might have to I don't think these open and yeah, we might have to just smash the window it'll be a bit loud but All right, we don't actually need books. We're just looking for auto magazines, pretty much, if they have them here. We we are proud owners of every book. Oh, we might have to go to the gas station. Oh, there's a dance magazine here. I'll take it. Somebody put a magazine in with all the books. Anybody here? No. No. Oh. Can't click on this one. <laughs> What's he doing? Terry's having some watermelon chat. He's so excited. Okay. Not many magazines at this at this bookstore. A oh, cheese. It's another dance magazine here. All right. No, no, just one slice. You can't give him too much. All right. You can try. I don't. I don't know if you'll get through it, but. Uh. This car is in good condition, believe it or not. I don't know what the. I don't know what the issue was there. All right, up to the gas station then. Bookstore, is checked. There's the uh, there's the post office. Post office might be worth a check, actually. Might have some magazines in there. People might be order might have ordered magazines in 1993. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I was born in 1997, so. U.S. Mail Service need their van back? I hear you. I can smell you in here. We need to get into the uh, to the back room, ideally, right? That's where all, that's where all the magic happens. Oh. Hello, I'm just here looking for a magazine. Oh, there's... Another one in here.
There's somebody else here, but I'm not sure where they are. Are they between the racks? Sound close. There's so many books. Oh, maybe they're outside. Jeez. Okay. We'll have to remember that we can get books from here in uh, future future runs, right? There's so many. And cardboard boxes, too. No magazines, though. Well, not that I can see yet. Oh, there's like nondescript magazines here. Now oh, we're getting tired. Unfortunate. Oops. Hello. What's all the snoring? Can't get through here. Can't check these. Oh, I see somebody out front. Mm, that did not help with our um, drowsiness. Yeah, I think the gas station has more magazines for sure, but the last time we were up at that gas station, it was very busy. Because when I uh, smashed the window, the alarm went off, if you remember. Some of them might have migrated away by now, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. It looks like they're still pretty fixated on being up here. Oh. <laughs> it just tripped up another alarm. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think any of these houses are two-story houses, right? I think all of these are ground floor houses. We're all little, little tiny ones.
surprise tape. I'm just going to smoke in here. I might just sleep in here. And then uh, with uh, renewed uh, pants... With a renewed spirit, um, hit that gas station in the morning. There's a lot of zombies there, though. Renew these pants. Smoking in the boys' room. need that. I'll take this empty bowl too, why not? Oh, our axe is not in great condition. Hand axe should be fine. But this axe might not see us through. It's a bit it's a bit spooky, isn't it? Sleeping away from home. I don't think there's a fire department in Riverside, no. There's a there's a police one. But we've uh we hit it already. We already took everything from it. We want to uh we want to try to get home uh today because there's a thunderstorm coming tomorrow isn't there. We don't really want to be um around for. We're losing weight again, but what can you do, eh? Oh. Look at this one. What are you doing here? All right, well, it's light enough out. Are we infected? No. No, we're doing fine. Might actually hit this on foot. It could be a little bit more quiet, I think. Not pull every last zombie in the world.
How's the little guy holding up? Good. Grab some SIGs while we're here. Comic book, annotated maps. Where is that? Oh, he's there. God. I was, I was freaking out there. All right, nothing. No magazines. There's another gas station up here that we could go to. Maybe we should go check it out while we're here. We'll have a quick look. This is where, last time we played this game, years ago, this was kind of like our favorite spot, right? Just to the west of Riverside, in this in this farmhouse, with access to uh, this road, which leads to the big um, warehouse estate, the industrial estate. And then further up, you've got um, car mechanic, gas station and um there's the uh the storage lots which i don't think we'll check today but probably worth a check at some point if we need some more generators or something it's busy up here jeez so that's the turnoff for the industrial stuff the warehouses and whatnot And this is the gas station here. It's not too busy. No entrance back here. Oh, is there an entrance through the laundrette? Oh, no, it's here. Oh. Yes. Okay, we got one. That's pretty good. More cigarettes, too. All 
I don't need the pop. I will take all the candy and stuff, though. It's good stuff to have, isn't it? Especially for fun road trips. Rotten burritos and whatnot. Nope, nothing. Oh, I can't pick this up. Pick up the AT. Oh, yeah, I can pick it up. It's heavy. They might have some books in here. Might be worth a check. It's only 8.40 in the morning. I'll take the spare engine parts. Why not, right? Mechanics Volume 1. Standard car battery. Let's take a backup propane torch just in case, too. All right, well, trip somewhat successful. I mean, we did get, believe it or not, one magazine that we were after. I think we're missing two. I think two magazines is what we need. So I'm not sure which one we got, but it'll allow us to do some more stripping and dismantling and stuff. But I mean, we're in a good spot with mechanics now anyway, right? Do more or less what we need to do. I think we can link on to the uh, the road where the um, golf course is from here, I think. Seems pretty dead out here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I think this is the road here. 
Wow. Hello. to see what that backpack is. If it's just a large backpack or if it's a military one. See, he's not wasting away, though. He's not. It's just a large... Uh, it's just a large backpack. I'll grab these. Eat some chips. Thank you. Poor cherry. Poor cherry. Poor cherry. Poor cherry Healy from inside the factory. Crap. Oh, that was close. I almost had to get out and start blasting. Jeez, look at all the look at all the 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 zombies down here. I have to fix the car a bit when we get home. I have to pump up the tires a bit. So that's the uh, that's the golf course and the uh, the 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 club. The leisure club? What's the country club? It's the country club. This is all country club here. There's a lot of them here. Holy crap. I've never been into the country club before. I'm not allowed. I don't. I'm not uh, quite the caliber that they're looking for. Hey, um, the mighty cash. Thanks so much for the uh, the thousand bits. Thank you, the Mighty Cash. Thanks so much. Thanks for the new T1 sub as well. Jeez. Thank you very much. Ooh, a bridge. Uh oh. All right, well, we're almost home. That's good. I mean, at least we at least we hit the spots that we wanted to hit. There's they're now they they are spots that we no longer need to go to. We've cleared them. Riverside, I don't know if there's much left in Riverside for us now, apart from you know, maybe it being a destination to go to with the shotgun and just start blasting down the streets kill everybody there. I don't know. Tame Riverside? We've kind of tamed Rosewood at this point, I think. There's still... There's still zombies there, but not nearly as many. But then there is the prison at Rosewood. It has not been tamed. That looks like snow. Maybe it's just light rain. This poor van. Honestly.
actually think Riverside is like is is a bit too out of the way. I like if you spawn in Riverside, it just take you forever to get anywhere. I mean, I guess there's enough in Riverside. Is the loot pretty good in Riverside? I suppose there's lots of different stores, right? We didn't go to the Gigamart. What did we hit? We hit the bookstore, the post office, the gas station. We slept overnight in somebody else's house. Ooh. Crap. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. <laughs> it crashed. Wrong turn. I think this little town has definitely been tamed. Right? Washing the vehicle. All right, let's see. Let's get this arcade machine out. Let's take a look at the damage. All right, you know what? Surprisingly, it's not too bad. It is not too bad at all. It's still more or less in the green. I thought we would have had some big damages there for sure, but. I don't think you can use it, but it does look great in the chair room. I love those chairs. <laughs> Good. Oh, scrap electronics don't go in here anymore. All right, well, we got home just in time for this storm to start. Yuck. 
Yuck. What's with all the chairs? I don't know. They were just here when we... When we moved in. They were already here. Let's put all this stuff in here. This is uh, this is all nice stuff to have, actually. Snacky foods. this one no I don't want to investigate the area either um, I want the ah that's the one what is this CD oh it's just nothing it's just it's just a CD dead wrong season 2 episode 3 it's a copy. And True Dancing, episode 37. It's a copy as well. CD. Well, that's disappointing. All right. We've read this one, we've read this one, we have not read this one. And this one is going to teach us basic mechanics for standard models. Nice. So we should be able to scrap um, the smaller cars now too. Great. Some thread. Lots of thread, in fact. Jeez. We might even need some more ripped sheets at this uh, at this rate. I wasn't picking them up. Alright, denim shirt. Oh, I need my needle as well. Whoops. Tailoring. We're pretty close, actually, again, to uh, hitting another uh, tailoring.
Let's see if we can actually hit this. We'll go to the prison, we'll kill everybody there, and then we'll see how many threads they turn into. We'll go there with no threads, and once everybody's dead and we've conquered the prison, we'll come back. And we'll do with a big thread count and have a big jamboree off the back of it. Nice. Do 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 do. That's great. Holy crap. Look at that. Tailoring? Seven? Wowzers. All right. Let's go to bed. Okay, good. We needed that sleep. We did. We really needed to have a big sleep, didn't we? Empty bowl. I have 783 cigarettes. That is an insane amount of cigarettes. butter vegetable oil as well nice this is made not our best stew ever but it'll do we're gonna have to get um, a couple of these out grab one of those grab one of those grab one of these Use these for the next ones. Probably need to turn that off. I need to do some fishing. I'll do some today, actually. We're running out of uh, fillets. Good. Sounds like I need a refill it. I do. I do need one.
vitamins, painkillers, antidepressants. Scissors, can opener. I think these fanny packs are just filled with lighters and matches and stuff. Oh god, I'm hungry again. It didn't fill me up. Let's eat some chips as well. There, that ought to keep us going. How are we doing? Okay, we've uh, we've stabilized at 79. Joe, I feel a. a I feel like uh, a bit like Rashad is Bill without Frank from um, The Walking Dead. He's kind of got a, a sweet setup, doesn't he? A really good one. Let's check. Let's check this. Actually, check the trap. We got a little bait fish. Yep. Crap, little bait fish. What's going on? Okay, medium pike. Oh, that's better. Small pike. Some more socks. We're really bored. Luckily, we have a vast library at home. Holy shit. Three big fish caught today? Some more socks? Okay. That was, uh, that was probably worth it, right? That's a good little uh, round of fishing. Put the fishing rod back in here. We got everything we need out here for fishing. Really good. We got the antique oven. We got the army cot. Oh, man. Just living the dream. We got all of our junked out cars. Is there a truck filled with socks at the bottom? I'm keeping the socks in there so that we can just burn them in the uh, antique oven one day. We'll just use them as fuel. Or, you know, if we find, like, the best pair, we could always wear them. Okay, good. Oh, there's still quite a few fillets in here, actually. This should keep us going for a little while. Good. Alright, we're a bit bored. I don't know how we got so bored, but uh, we can watch a tape. Uh, what have we not seen? 
ace pilot I don't think we've seen. Let's put it on. Maybe this will teach us how to fly. Cool rock music. Hey Badger, watch this no hands. Do 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 Badger do 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 Alright. Good. This really helped with the boredom. It really got rid of rid of the the boredom for us on this rainy ass day that we've mostly spent in inside. We are a little sad now though. Let's get another stew going. We need something hearty to, f to fill up our bellies. I think I used up all my lard. I'm about to use up all my butter as well. Vegetable oil is quite good though. That's a good one. Nice. Oops. Put that there. Um, we can listen to the radio and see what the weather looks like tomorrow. Would be good. Do 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 All right, look at that. Seven percent bite, fourteen percent scratch on my long socks. 7% bullet. Looking good. I can't do anything about my groin and these pants. I can't actually do anything with the firefighter pants. I think we need some leather pants, right? They can't be repaired, and you can't add patches to them. Boots, you can't do anything with either. Uh, these, we could probably add some leather strips to as well. Okay, our t-shirt. So now we got layers of, pr wow, look at that. Lower and upper torso were 100% scratch proof. Jeez, that's pretty good. What about the military pants that I brought back? Yeah, I wonder if the military pants with leather strips uh, would be better. Military green camo pants. Let me try. Uh, military green camo pants. Inspect. So they got 10 and 20%, but if I add leather strips to everything, 
17 and 34. That's pretty good. So now these are... Firefighter pants give you 20 and 30. These would now give me 17 and 34. So actually the the uh, the firefighter pants still have 3% better bite, but the military green camo pants have 4% better scratch resistance. It's pretty good. Okay. So we'll hang on to the uh, firefighter pants still for now. T-shirts looking good. Let's turn on the ham radio and listen to see what the forecast is for tomorrow. Actually, I suppose we could just listen to the forecast for tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow. And um, and then find out for the next day. We'll do two, two at once. Animal print underpants and bra animal print, I don't think I can do anything with. Denim shirt. So I got a denim shirt over top a t-shirt. I got a good bulletproof vest on top. I got a tank top as well. Upper and lower, lower torso. If I add leather strips to these, that gives me 7 and 14. So actually, um, my upper and lower torso now have 81% bite and still 100% scratch. So we want to do this with layers and layers and layers of stuff, right? Scarf has leather strips on it. 7 and 24. So that's pretty good. So it's just our... Um, really, our left and right thigh and groin need some uh need some love our hands and our neck but overall we're we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty uh we're looking pretty strong we're looking sturdy sturdy and strong this axe is really about to go this axe surprisingly quite a bit of condition used up to we do have a backup axe big axe here and we have five more hand axes. Let's exercise. Did you start with apocalypse mode or survivor mode? What uh, I I we must be playing on survivor mode, right? I think apocalypse is the hard one. If you're just starting, I think survivor. Put survivor with no uh well, I don't have respawns on either, which is it's nice. When you start clearing places out, they feel clear after a while. I don't know what uh, what mode we're playing on though. Like there are there are a fair few zombies in like the big the big bits, but in the sort of rural out of the way bits, there's uh it's not so bad. I did custom. Um All right, let's go to bed. Survivor and Apocalypse are just sandbox presets? Oh, okay. Um, right, let's, um, let's see what the radio is saying.
periodical cloudy spells. Weather period is predicted to end tonight. So we'll, we might get a bit more rain today, but not much. Tomorrow, some clouds. Hey, it's the 1st of November. We've survived till November. I can't believe it. Three months, 24 days, and 21 hours. 3,495 zombies killed. Yeah, Rashad Howe is he's just doing it. He's just doing it. You want to celebrate uh, November? We'll do like a, a Movember? Let's go for the mustache. Looking fine. Looking mighty fine. Look at that. He's got a huge mustache. That's a mustache to be proud of. All right, that hit the spot. That was good. Flourishing. These are still young tomatoes. Fertilized with no diseases. And we have also got some young strawberry plants here. Flourishing. No diseases present. Hmm. Great. Whoa. In my neighborhood? On my road? A road that I I drive on every single day? Oh thanks. All right. 
Alright, another axe is down. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I can. Re I know I can repair them. That's why I'm keeping them. I have been repairing them. Been doing lots of axe repairs. Gosh. There are so many zombies out here. There, there I am bragging about how clear the town is. It's not even clear at all. They just keep coming. <laughs> Look at all of them. Oh my god. That has got to be... There's more. I can't believe it. I just... I can't believe it. Just when you think, eh? There's none left. I just need some more threads. I don't need, um, I got 29 threads from that. That's good. Jesus. Done. 320 ripped sheets. 101 threads. Our work here is done.
Okay, not a bad day. 3,559 zombies dead. Thanks, thanks mainly to axes. Nice white van collection, thank you. Oh my god. I can't believe it. So many threads. And another broken axe. To add to the collection. Two broken hand axes. And four broken axes. If I repair them with wood glue, 75%. 75%. This one will only repair to 50, it's been repaired already, and 50 as well. These ones will repair to 75% as well. Potentially repairs 75%, chance of success 100%. Because we, I think it's because we've got Carpentry 8. So if, the, if our Carpentry level goes up, we can repair even more, right? Maintaining at 79, pretty good. It's only 2.20 in the afternoon. Still uh, plenty of uh, plenty of day left. I think that's all the thread that we need for now, but we could, um, I mean, we could just, just go out and kill more zombies. Is there anything, I don't think there's anything else we need to loot here. We're not missing anything in the base right now either. I should tell you what. One thing we could do is go to the um, the store over here, right? See if they got any condiments. There's the uh, tables of the restaurant as well that might have condiments. Uh, I don't think so, actually. We've already dismantled the uh, the back room as well, or the uh, kitchen, I should say. Chuck all this in the composter. Might as well, right? Apron provides zero bite, scratch, or bullet defense. But I guess if you put... Uh, leather strips on them. Maybe it's a different story.
What's back here? Oh. Oh. Nice. Cooking stuff. And a sack of rotten apples. Sure. Will I play the new RimWorld update? Yeah, I, I will for sure, yeah. I don't know when, but I will. Alright, well, that the butcher side is completely, completely looted now. There's nothing left there that we need. Except for the flag. Ah, we go back. We got enough American flags, I think. I think everybody knows how much of a patriot we are out here. We got we got we got them everywhere. I mean, heck, we got one a big one outside. Everybody knows. What are these empty bottles? Oh, they're um, from the... They're... Oh, they're bottles from the stuff um, that was um, rotten inside them, right? So that stuff turned to compost? It's like that those um the jars of uh, remulade or whatever they remulade I don't know what they are mm. Some more twine? Good. So this stuff can go in here. Oh, there's not enough room in here. For rice. Oh, what do we have in here that's so heavy? There's everything. Oh, it's because we got all like the frying pans and everything else in here too. Let's put those under the sink. Man, we are we are we are well stocked, I would say. No? I feel like we got pretty much everything we need. Okay. So that is definitely done. Some lights for the yard would be nice. Yeah, I don't really know. Um, was it the hardware store that had floodlights? 
I agree, though. A, a light for the yard would be nice. Should I go over and check? Before it gets too late? Hello, is anybody in here? Okay, I got them. So if we set them up close to the generator, we'll have lights outside? I could steal outside wall lights as well. Oh yeah, good point. I could take those from just about anywhere, right? Nobody's using them now. Like we could steal them from the restaurant, for example. Okay, I stole one for now. I can barely walk because these f floodlights are so heavy. Do the wall lights come on automatically? I think so, Dowie. Yeah, I think if you just put them within range of the uh, the thing, they'll come on. We got like sensors, you know. We should have one here. Uh, maybe that one does work. I don't know. So it's going to be 20 squares from the generator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Should be able to put this maybe here. And then I've got this, uh, this nice wall light out here too. You gotta do a slash clap to turn them on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just make sure that my strawberries don't have any diseases. Same with my tomatoes. They seem to be disease free for now. Oh. How's the generator looking? 48%. How are tomatoes growing in November? I don't know, but thank God they are. Honestly. Dong da dong 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 da dong 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 da dong dong. Is it dark out? Yeah. Look, it's dark out, and look how lit up it is here. Looks pretty good. 
I think they are working, Dowie. Yeah, look, it's it's definitely lighter. Yeah, look. Turn off. If I turn this one off. See? They are. They're working. It's floodlit. You don't think the wall light's on? Or this one? Yeah, it is. See? I think it looks great. I think that actually looks splendid. I guess we should arrange a trip to, um, maybe that clothing store. There's like a, there's like a value, there's a really big, oh, we didn't check the clothing store in Riverside either. I don't know if it's worth going all the way back to Riverside for that, but we sh we, we need to find some leather pants to replace these fireman pants, right? Or get our tailoring up to a point where we can just wear any old pants with leather strips on and they'll be better. So you know I'm going to have bulletproof boxers? God, yeah, I hope so. Oh, man, we slept way too long here. It's one in the afternoon. Unbelievable. Um, I think the, uh, the place in question is... It's, like, around here somewhere. It's, like, between Muldra and West Point. I think there's a way into Muldra if we follow this road down. It it's like it winds around and stuff, but eventually gets us onto the the main drag of Muldra, but kind of on the north side, which is more like where there's like warehouses and stuff. It's like kind of it's kind of like a, just as you're getting to like sort of the outskirts, the industrial part of the town, you know. And from there, we just follow this big road down. And we can get to the uh, to that place, but it's probably not worth heading out to do it today because it's so late. We don't want to be there at night. You know, it's too scary. Oh, pardon me. There's a logging complex? Oh yeah, there is. You're right. There is the, uh, is it McCoy's logging? It's a big one. Rashad did tr trim his beard, yeah. It's very windy out today. Very windy.
All right, what's actually in decent condition here that we can take? Rear windshield? Sure. That's in pretty good condition. This rear door is also in pretty good condition. We'll hang on to some of these good parts. I think everything else in this has been absolutely wrecked. Grab the radio. Uh, the muffler is not too bad. Heater we can't get. Let's take the battery too. It's in pretty good condition. Um, rear right tire. Engine condition 4 out of 10. Oh. Repair the engine. I can't take engine parts until we've... Oh, I see. I can dismantle this car wreck now, though. And I think I should. It's time for this one to go. We didn't get much for it. Is there anything worth keeping on this one? Take the radio. Take the battery. We can take the engine parts for this one too. I'll grab this muffler. Uh, the rear windshield we don't want for this one. It's in pretty bad condition. Take the rear door. Front right seat. Sure. Alright, this one's ready to go now too. I just got to go fill up my propane torch. Let me drop some of these good bits into my shed. Drop these. See, the engine on this 84% right, we could repair this. It's at 89. <laughs> I think I used a lot of engine parts for that. Mm-hmm. 
This is for the for the bin. I don't know what to do with all these bits, but this is this one's fucked here. I can't even fit it in there. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, good. Well, we've junked uh, three old cars now. I mean, there's plenty, plenty more where those came from as well, right? We can scrap many more. How's our mechanic skill looking at? Getting into uh, level 6. 108 XP. Jeez. There's still a car zone tape that we haven't seen yet, but I don't think it's going to help us an awful lot now. I think getting to 5 was like the main thing, right? Gaining weight now. Let's drop all our bags and exercise. Hopefully, we'll tucker ourselves up a, out a little bit. We didn't tuck ourselves out that much. <laughs> I'm going to take some um, sleeping tablets. Okay, I've opened all these cereals and I got some more dance cards. Can never have too many dance cards for your collection of dance cards. You get them from cereal? Am I planning on inviting my neighbors over to watch me work out? No, I was not. Rashad needs to dance more? I agree. Look at all the dances we have. Oh my god. Want to do the cabbage patch? Yes. And what about... Defile de Samba Parade? Oh man, look at that. I feel like that's the one. Shuffling, shimmy... Hip-Hop 2, Hip-Hop 3. Damn, this guy's got some good moves. He just, he just knows how to do it. Do... Hey, Jeremy Young, thanks for the super. Thanks for the $4.99. Hey, Sipsy Boy, first time I've been able to catch you live in what feels like months. Just wanted to say you'll always be my favorite. Jeremy Young, thank you so much. Thank you, Jeremy Young. Mm -hmm. 
I'm taking three chips with me. I'm also going to eat half of this bowl of stew. We'll have to make another stew when we get back. This axe is probably okay for what we want to do today, I think. Next time I fish, do that dance. Can you do that d dance walk all the way to the cabin? <laughs> I would love to do that dance walk all the way to the cabin. Sure, let's fill up. Alright, let's check out uh, down here then, shall we? We'll go down this road and see uh, if we can get to Muldra from here and then maybe hit that clothes store, see if we can find some leather pants. There might be some there. There's either leather trousers or skinny leather trousers. Either one is pretty good. So that's what we'll be looking for. I think, I think the leather trousers have a chance to drop off of biker zombies, but... I don't know where those are. Skinny leather trousers show off your your giblets. Okay, well those, that's why I want to find them. That's why I'm so desperate to track them down. Okay, I think I think we're we're this way. I think we go this way. This is pretty quiet down here. Maybe a little too quiet down here. Maybe a little too spooky. Oof. Um. I've been watching The Last of Us. I don't know if you guys have the same thing, but I feel like they do a good job of like creating um, some some very like anxious moments. If you if you know what I mean, like, um, do you guys feel like 
almost a little bit sick every time they like pull over you know when they're in the truck and they like pull over and sleep in a forest and you're just like oh man you just like wedge yourself in an alleyway and sleep in the truck or something instead like what is happening It's a bit pant shitty sometimes, isn't it? And also, I've also noticed uh, there's parts of the show where the, where the guy will just be like, Hey, Ellie, go and climb in a hole. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you letting a little kid, like, go off on their own to climb into some damn hole? Like, what? Don't do that. It's not, it's not a zombie apocalypse, well, that I know of in real life, and I wouldn't tell my kids to go off and climb in some random hole. I, I don't know what he's thinking. I think I might have taken the wrong, a wrong turn here. It felt like the other way was going to get us closer to West Point, but I think we're kind of in the middle of Farmer Town USA out here. Look, it's like it's all very farmlandy, rural. Not only that, it's just so quiet. Oh well, if we end up on the uh on the far side of Muldra, like closer to the 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 dingle danger, the one that goes uh, takes you up back up to Rosewood. Then we'll uh, try to hit the gas station, see if there's an another auto magazine in there. Because I think we're still missing one. Muldraw, 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 Muldraw. I can't resist. Holy crap, look at all this awesome rotten food. Ever st thought of installing the RV mod? Yeah, it looks fun actually. I could try it. It'd be fun to just drive around in your RV. You can like, there's like a like a, a like an inside bit to it as well, right? What is it like instanced or like is it like phased or something? When you go in, I thought I read something where it like just teleports you like off the map. So does that mean you could just hide in your RV and nothing will attack you? Does it know that you're in there? Or is it like... Are you considered so far away from everything that nothing will aggro you or whatever? Okay. This is looking promising. I think this takes us potentially into Muldra. Let's check my map. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is the way. Perfect. Whoops. 
to wash the van when we get back. Here we go. Wowzers. Quite a few zo quite a few zombies down here on this road. I think it's a bit like the highway near Rosewood. They kind of like they really like the road, you know? So the place we're looking for is kind of along this road, sort of in between here and West Point, and it's got like a grocery store. I think it's got a small grocery store, a gas station, and then it's got like a big discount clothing store. That's where we want to go. And something else. There's like four buildings. But we gotta get past, uh, there's a trailer park down here on the bend. I think it's like Dixie Trailer Park. It's a big trailer park. And then past that is uh, where we're going. But there's lots of junked cars and stuff along the way. Maybe not a great time to do this with the um Oh the oh, like all the overgrowth, right? I think this is like the uh trailer park is just in here somewhere. It's along the side here. Red in the needle there. Woohoo! That was close. <laughs> I think this is part of where we're going yeah this is okay there's a spiffos there's a gas station and then I believe the place we want to go to is yes bargain clothes I'll check out this gas station while we're here if possible.
or not. Hello? All these fashionable patrons here. have to go in through the front. I wonder if it's worth checking any of these um, people as they're out here. Maybe they're fashion savvy, you know? Looking for oh my god, there's so many clothes here. All right, let's have a look. Nothing. Suit pants. Long sport shorts. Hoodie. Baggy jeans. Hawaiian shirt. Swin trunks. There's a jacket. Denim shirt. Diamond pattern sweater? Yes. Apparently that gives good neck protection as well. Combined with the scarf. Lumberjack shirt? Nope. Shell suit trousers. Denim jeans. I think there's some more people in here. Potentially. V-neck sweater. Some Hawaiian shirts, baggy jeans, pants. What was that? Riverside Rangers baseball? No. Diamond pattern sweater. God, there's so much to check here. Long sleeve t-shirt. I could be um, cutting all this stuff up, but I don't really want to stay here that long, honestly. I just want to come in and get out of here. I mean, I could just kill lots of zombies if I want to cut up their shirts and stuff, right? What if I find myself naked at some point? I need to come back here and raid this place. Does that go into like a back room? Yeah, it looks like it. It's more back here. There's a varsity jacket. Nope. Suit pants, flip flops, riding boots and rain boots. Military boots, okay. Some different stuff. Black leather trousers! Come on. Great! Jeans, suit pants. And we did it! Look at us!
All right, good. Had some spare cigarettes here too. All right, we out of here? Maybe we get into this uh, gas station? Newspaper and, no, Engineering Magazine Volume 1, I've got it already. I heard that snarling. Leather pants lower the risk of zombie bite, but increase the risk of being asked out by hot singles in my area. It's a risk that I'm going to have to take. I like the, uh, the extra protection. It's nice. Alright, it wasn't too bad around here either. All things considered. I thought that it might be like a... A bit of a hotbed of activity, but it is not. A nice little trip. Now we just gotta make it back alive. We gotta thread the needle again through these cars, which is the trickiest part of the trip, I think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. These guys hate fashion is the problem. They hate seeing a guy brave enough to sport his favorite fashions. What am I doing? Just sit in the car. It's probably safer, right? Scratch defense plus 10. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, hang on two seconds. 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Is the is the needle th threadable now? It looks like it is actually. Let's go. You're doing great, Dad. Not a backseat game, but a t-shirt. Short shorts and boots will allow mobility, heavy stomping, and prove to be stylish at the same time. All right. Whew. We're through. We are going to have to come and clear all this if we're going to make our way to West Point at some point, right? And not only the zombies. I mean, let's bring some propane tanks and torches and just get rid of all these wrecks so that we can just open up on the on the road. Uh, X-rated sippy cup. Thank you so much for the thousand bits and thank you for the tip as well. That might be worth uh, worth doing at some point, right? Could be good. Maybe in the spring. When the weather starts to warm up, I think we want to be bundled up a bit now, right? Because it's the winter. No. He touched my car. Do not touch my car. Somebody else touched my car. I'm not too happy about it. Oh, God. This poor van. This is, this is our brand new van, too. Look at the state of it already. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't miss our turning. Which I believe is coming up pretty soon. I don't know if this is the right way, actually, but maybe it connects on to some of the other roads that we need it to, or not. We'll know if it's the right road because it's the, uh, it's got the, um, whatchamacallit. Well, yeah, it is the right road. Okay, perfect. This is the one that we came down anyway. It'll have the, uh, the fruit, uh, the fruit stand, right? Look at this protection now. Look at, look at the protection on our groin and our thighs. Much better than before, right? And our neck too. We can put some leather strips on there to improve it even. So I think the black leather trousers can be altered. Got to protect my big giblets.
Hey, sorry, they ran out of fruit and veg. I don't know what happened. And when I drove by before, it was empty too, so... I don't know. That was a full day. It's quite a long drive, actually. Didn't use that much fuel, though. About a quarter of a tank, probably, all in. We're gonna have to um, think about staging in uh, Muldra at some point, right? And then probably using start using up some of the shotgun ammo as well. Just walk up and down the road and kill anything that uh, we see. Make some big uh, make some big hordes and kill them all. Find a nice place where you can knock out a stair and uh, and temporarily live. Maybe we'll do that in the spring. I think let's try to get through this winter. We'll just do like odds and ends like over the winter. Skill up and stuff and then there's probably there's probably a lot more zombies that we can kill out by where we live, right? We could maybe maybe clear the prison or try to clear the prison during the winter. That could be a nice winter project. I don't want to kill hordes with campfires because um, you don't get credit for killing them that way. I want to I want to kill as many as I can and get credit for them. I know there's I know we're gonna be missing out on some because I've run a bunch over and stuff, but I either want to blast them with my shoddy. Well, actually, if we get better aiming skill, it'd be cool to use a rifle with a scope. That'd be pretty fun too. Just find a nice roof somewhere and take up a whole bunch of ammo and a bunch of beer and a couple of tins of soup and boom. Just go nuts. I can blast them with my groin now. Mm. Now that I got my black leather trousers on. Whoa. Pony, Pony Romo. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I came down this way. I don't think I came down this way. But I think all of these kind of connect back up to where we want to go eventually anyway. Yeah. It's what the heck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's another texting driving incident. I have to really fix the truck when we get back. I should have stopped. It turns out you can't drift and look at the map. It's just a bit of gentle drifting, right? So what kind of things, if we wanted to stage in Muldra, I guess we'll need the sledgehammer. We'll bring a bunch of tin food. Um... I don't even know if we necessarily need a generator. I mean, we can pro we can find one there, I'm sure. There's tons of uh, warehouses and uh, storage stuff. I think just get a place that's, sla uh, that's safe to sleep to start with. Bring some tin food. And then just build something up that we can... Uh, ah. We're home. Nice.
Home sweet home. Look at that. Pretty good. Pretty good. You love home, Dowie? I love home, too. It's so nice to get home, isn't it? In one piece. Sometimes you head out and you think, God, I wonder if I'm ever going to come home again. And luckily for us, recently, we've come home every single time. We can finally not wear those firefighter pants now. Let's see how these compare to the firefighter pants. Um, where are they? Not in here. So we're looking at black leather trousers. Inspect. 20% bite and 40% scratch. So same bite. Uh, but 10% more scratch resistance. But the nice thing with these is that we can um, we can apply uh, leather strips to them. So we'll get um, our, our tailoring bonuses on them, which is really good. Give myself a little wash here. All right, good. Nice, nice little, nice little road trip. Very. Uh, it's been a productive day. Actually, we've got we've gotten a lot of stuff done. Some more some more milestones have been achieved. We've killed a lot of bad guys today as well. Uh, it turns out, three thousand six hundred and seventeen kills now with the uh, mostly with an axe. Our weight is good. I, we're actually gaining weight. I think it's because we ate so many chips today. Rashad is a real one. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Bruce? How you doing? Almost four months, yeah. If we can make it till December, that's like uh, when the real winter starts. Hey, Ding Dong Bell 92, thank you so much for the 10 pound tip. Appreciate it, thank you so much. Am I gonna try to make a cure? No, I'm not going to. Um, chat, I gotta go. I hope you enjoyed the Sunday stream. Sorry it was a bit of a short one, but at least it was uh, one. Yes? I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll carry on uh, from there. Yeah? Okay, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you for the support as well. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the resubs. Thanks for gift subs. Thanks for uh, donations. Thanks for supers. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching on Twitch, wherever you ended up watching. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have an enjoyable rest of your weekend. Um... And uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow, Monday, for some more Zomboid, yes? All right, chat. See you then. LOL, lots of love. Peace. Bye now. Bye.